I'm Sandesh Gadamkar. Today I'm teaching the mechanics of material. In that one, a volumetric strain due to three mutually perpendicular stresses. Generally, we call it as a generalized Hooke's law. We are considering a rectangular block, and this is the stresses sigma x, sigma x, sigma y, sigma y, sigma z. Sigma z at a length x y z z. Consider a rectangular rectangular block. Subjected to subjected to two, three tensile stresses sigma x comma sigma y comma sigma z in three mutually perpendicular directions. Three mutual perpendicular direction as shown in the figure. Now, the initial volume, initial volume, V, Y, and Z. Now, taking log on both side, taking log. On both side, log v is equal to log x plus log y plus log z. If you take a log, then v v becomes log v, and the product becomes additions here, and further differentiate. 1 by v is equal to dv 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus plus 1 by z dz if you differentiate the log it becomes 1 by v by dv and x it becomes 1 by x into delta x and so on Delta V by V is equal to delta X by X plus delta V, delta Y by Y plus delta Z by Z. Delta V by V we call as a EV. Delta X by X is nothing but EX. These are nothing but the strain, change in length to the original length. Similarly, E Y plus E Z. E Z. What is E? Strain is nothing but delta L by L. We call it as a strain. Either you can write epsilon or small e. Now, as from the diagram, as per the diagram, from diagram. Diagram. What happens if a tension is applied in x direction? The length increases, but in the case of y and z, reduction occurs. If a tension is applied in the x direction, reduction in the case of y and z occurs. Then the Poisson's ratio comes in picture. Therefore, strain in the x direction, e x is nothing but we have we can write as Sigma divided by E, Sigma divided by Hanks modulus. Now there is a reduction in the y and z. Therefore, one, one, Sigma x. Sorry, Sigma. This is the Sigma x. Sigma y will be m e. One by m is nothing but Poisson's ratio. Similarly, Sigma z divided by m e. 
reduction occurs in the case of y and z y and z this is in case of x direction if it is in case of y direction sigma y divided by e and reduction occurs in the case of x and z minus sigma x divided by m e minus sigma z divided by m e m is 1 by m is a thing Poisson's ratio because here the forces are acting mutually perpendicular to each other in last case there was a single force acting over the faces here multi forces are acting over the face and they are mutually perpendicular to each other and sigma z is the ez is nothing but sig sigma z divided by e minus sigma x divided by m e minus sigma y divided by m e these are the strain these are the strains strain in the material strain in the material as per the diagram as per the diagram as the tension is applied in z direction reduction in x and y take place reduction in x and y take place now substitute these values in this equation we have to substitute this value in this equation then what happens ev is equal to sigma x divided by e minus sigma y divided by m e minus sigma z divided by m e next this one plus sigma y divided by e minus sigma x divided by m e minus sigma z divided by m e plus this one sigma z divided by e minus sigma x divided by m e minus sigma y divided by m e first i will consider sigma x sigma y and sigma z sigma x divided by e plus sigma y divided by e plus sigma z divided by e next x terms this is the one x term this is the one other x term then it becomes minus 2 sigma x divided by m e next y terms y one more y is here minus 2 sigma y divided by m e and last will be minus 2 sigma z divided by m e m e and this part next i will take a common here this and this i'll make a common sigma x divided by e 1 minus 2 by m next i will take from the y common plus sigma y divided by e 1 minus 2 divided by m and sigma z and sigma z i will take sigma z by e common 1 minus 2 m among these three 1 minus 2 m is common sigma x divided by e plus sigma y divided by e plus sigma z divided by e one minus two by m one minus two by m further it can be written as sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z divided by e into one minus two by m two by m this is the formula for volumetric strain due to three mutually perpendicular stresses i am Santosh gaidankar thank you very much